Hey everyone, so excited that you have come to join us on our learning adventure through South America. Today, we are looking at Brazil. I can't wait to see what happens. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, oh what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me stand. Oh, Watch me swing. Watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I. I have legs. I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh, what a miracle am I. Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have one foot, I have one foot, watch me balance. Today, we are going to explore the largest country in South America, Brazil. Can you see it here in red? So this is South America, and this is the largest country in South America. In fact, it's the fifth largest country in the whole world. Not only is it big in land, but it has the fifth highest population of people. That means number of people that live in this country. And just like their amazing flag that is super colorful, so are the people. They have festivals and wear beautiful feathers in their hair and lots of bright colors and dance in the streets with lots and lots of drumming. It's pretty amazing to see. In fact, 60% of the Amazon rainforest is in Brazil, which means that there's some pretty interesting characters there. These are just a few of the beautiful animals that live in the rainforest. It has such lush greenery and some beautiful fruits and flowers that gives, keeps them all alive. This is a jaguar and he loves to laze around in the trees during the day and he goes and finds his food at night. This is an anteater and you guessed it, he eats ants. He has a big, long tongue that helps him to catch all the ants. And this is a toucan. There's lots of different types of toucans, but this one here lives in Brazil. It's pretty cool, hey? And colorful, just like the people. Talking about colorful birds, this is a macaw. It's a very smart bird. It's a parrot from the parrot family. And he is such a beautiful big bird that you find in the rainforest. This is an ocelot. It's a cat, much smaller than the jaguar, and he still likes to go hunting at nighttime and is a bit lazy in the daytime. This is an otter. 
He's not like the otters you might see at the zoo. He's really big and he eats yummy fish for dinner because he lives in the second largest river in the whole wide world. He lives in the Amazon River. This is South America, the continent we have been looking at all week long. And today we're looking at Brazil. And in Brazil was where the 2016 Olympics were. And did you know the Olympic rings that represent the Olympics actually represent five continents? But wait, we've been learning about seven. How can that be? Well, one ring is for the Americas, North and South America. One is for Europe, one is for Asia, one is for Africa, and one is for Oceania. What about Antarctica, you say? But we know why. There's no people there. Only the penguins live in Antarctica all year long. All the people go there just for science and to experiment and investigate. As you can see, all of these five rings are joined together. They're interlocked. They can't be pulled apart. And it's just like that, that all the people from the continents join together to compete at the Olympics. In fact, every country that competes at the Olympics has the Olympic colours in their flag. In Australia, we have blue and red. And Brazil has green, blue and yellow. Pretty amazing, hey? At the Olympic Games, all of the athletes compete for medals. My friend Stacey has a book about medals. Would you like to come and see? <laughs> I am enjoying learning all about Brazil and the Olympic rings and seeing we've been talking about the rings in the Olympics, I thought I've got a great book for us to read today. It's called Gold Medal Me. And do you know what? In the Olympics, we can win medals. So I thought this might be a great book to read. Have a look with me. Gold Medal Me. It was a lovely sunny day and Toby bounced out of bed. Today was going to be a very special day at school. It's sports day. There were going to be lots of races and games to play and Toby couldn't wait. Slow down with your breakfast, just smiled Toby's mum. But Toby was in a bit of a rush. <gasps> Oops! I think he's made a little bit of a mess. <gasps> And his cereals on his head. Oh goodness. After breakfast, Toby found everything he needed for the day. One red scarf, his favourite. Two super speedy shoes, perfect for running. Toby and his mum set off for school. Are we nearly there yet? Asked Toby all excitedly. I think someone's very excited for sports day. Outside school, Toby met his friend Olivia and Charlie. They talked about all the games they were going to play. I heard that Miss Meadow is going to give out lots of gold medals, said Olivia. Whoa, Toby gasped. I hope I get one. Can you see? There he is with his friends. When they got to the sports field, Toby could see a whole table filled with gold medals. They were bigger than his hand and they sparkled in the sunlight. Toby couldn't wait for them to be given out. Gather around, Miss Meadow called blowing her big whistle. Let's line up in a row and have our first race, the running race. Toby stood beside Charlie, Ellie and Olivia and they all got ready to run as fast as they possibly could. Can you see? They're all lined up and they're waiting for Miss Meadow to blow the whistle. Miss Meadow called out, ready, steady, go! And zoom, oh! 
they all ran forward to the finish line. Can you see? Run, run, run as fast as you can. Charlie yelled as he crossed the finish line. Everybody cheered loudly. Well done, Charlie, <laughs> puffed Toby a little bit out of breath. You were really fast. You're definitely getting a gold medal. <gasps> Isn't it nice? They're all cheering each other on. Next, it was time for egg and spoon race. It was very tricky. <gasps> Look, wobble, wobble, wobble. Have you ever tried to do an egg on a spoon? It's very tricky. Oh, phew, Toby panted as he got to the end. That was close. <gasps> I think he thought he was going to drop the egg. This is fun, giggled Toby as he practiced jumping up for the sack race. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <gasps> now they're doing potato sack races. Look at how high Poppy can jump, said Olivia. I'm sure she'll get a medal. <gasps> I think this must be Poppy. Look how high she is. She's almost reaching the tree. And when they had the race, Poppy jumped so high over the finish line that she leapt out of the sack. Oh, and look, I think she's jumped over the finish line. Oh, there was also a skipping race. Oh, there was a relay race where they had to run and pass poles to each other. And a wheelbarrow race. I wish it was sports day every day, said Toby. I think Toby's loving sports day today. Soon it was time for lunch. A table was piled high with towers of sandwiches and some fruit and buns and yummy looking biscuits. Toby had one banana. He had two carrot sticks. He had three cheese sandwiches. One, two, three. <laughs> and four strawberries. And five blueberry biscuits. Can you see his plate of all that food? I can see the banana, the carrot sticks, the sandwiches, the strawberries, oh, and all those biscuits. It was a lot of food. I sure think it's a lot of food. Everyone had a rest after lunch and Miss Meadow asked them to draw a picture. She handed out some paper, some pencils and some paint and Toby shared his felt tip pens. Can you see? They're all doing a drawing. After drawing came the best race of all, the space hopper race. <gasps> Ooh, can you see? They're on some fancy balls. Toby and his friends bounced as fast as they could towards the end of the field. Yahoo! Ooh, cried Olivia as she bounced over the finish line. Now everyone had won a race. Everyone that is except for Toby. He felt a bit funny. Well done Olivia, Toby said, but his voice was a bit wobbly. He blinked hard, trying not to be sad that he wasn't going to get a medal. Can you see? Toby's feeling a bit sad. Miss Meadow lifted the medals high up in the air. Well done, it's time for you all to get your medals. <gasps> Me too, asked Toby in delight. But I didn't win anything. 
everyone gets a medal today because you've all worked really hard, smiled Miss Meadow. And this one's for you, Toby. Can you see? Toby's getting his medal, just like all his other friends. So Toby stood proudly in front of Miss Meadow as she hung the shiny gold medal around his neck. The whole class clapped and cheered. Hooray! How exciting. After that, it was time for everyone to go home. Toby and his friends walked out of the school gates, their gold medals glistening in the sunlight. What a lovely day it's been, sighed Toby happily to his mum. And an extra special gold medal day. He looks very happy, doesn't he? Oh. And that's the end of the story. Do you know what? That was a really nice story because it is so exciting to run in races and do sports days. And there is sometimes going to be a winner, but as long as we all try hard and give it our best, we are all winners, aren't we? Well, do you know what? I actually have a poem for you today and it's about the Olympics and doing a running race. Maybe you would like to do it with me. I'm gonna stand up so that I can do this because I'm gonna do a few little actions to show us running. Are you ready to join me for my poem? Okay. <gasps> Standing and waiting for the race to begin. <gasps> I'm getting quite nervous. Am I going to win? Crouching down low, I wait for the gun. <gasps> Bang, there it goes. We're starting to run. <gasps> my heart is pounding, I'm going to burst. Come on, legs, keep going. Just one last effort. I pass the line. Am I first? Am I last? Where am I? What was my time? I stand on the podium, proud and bold. I'm wearing a medal. It's an Olympic gold. I want a gold medal. Isn't that exciting? Do you know what? I think it's fun to do some running races. Maybe you could do some running races at home with your family too. But we always need to remember the fundamental moves when we're running. We always need to look straight ahead where we're running and we need to make sure we swing those arms. That helps us move faster. And we need to bend those knees, bending them up and down and swinging those arms. So remember when you run your race, look straight ahead, swing those arms and bend those knees. And I'm sure that you will win an Olympic gold too. Wow, what a great story about Toby and his friends. And they made medals. Do you think you and I could make medals for our friends? I think that's a great idea. What do we need though to make our own medals at home? Well, I don't know a lot about medals because I've never received one before, but I know they're round. So we need to find some round things. Mm. I think we've got a glass and even this glitter is round. Ooh. And look, we even have this coaster and it is round as well. I wonder what other things could be around you that could be round. Ooh. I know. Yeah? Maybe a can. Maybe you have a can that some soup came in or all vegetables. You could trace that. Yep. Or even a bowl that you eat out of. It could be round too. That's right. There are lots of things I bet you can find at home that are round. Yeah. So we've got a cup. So I'm going to start with this. What are you going to start with? Well, I think I'm going to use the big coaster because it's round as well. Great idea. Well, I've got some yellow paper, like the gold metal. So I'm going to use a yellow texture. What Ooh. colour would you like to use? Ooh. Do you know what? I think I might use the silver texture because my paper's a little bit yellow, but it's a little bit more of a cream colour. And this was just some recycled paper that I thought I could reuse. Awesome. Well, I've gone around my cup and have made a circle. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the circle. I'm going to trace another circle. 
There's lots of room on my cardboard. So I've got two big circles. One, two. <laughs> Okay, I'm nearly finished with my scissors and we can share if you would like. Perfect. Gotta be very careful with scissors too. That's true. So now I've got my round circle. I think that I might have got mine for jumping. Ooh. What did you get yours for? Do you know what? I think I got mine for my fast running. Were you the fastest at running? I don't think I actually was the fastest at running, but my poem was all about my fast running skills and how my legs moved very quickly. Oh, I think you would have been the fastest runner around then if you, they moved very quickly. So I'm gonna put number one because I came number one in jumping. I think I might use red. Hmm. Why you do that? I might cut out my second one. Because if you're doing number one, I think in the Olympics they call that a gold medal. Mm -hmm. So I might even do a number two on my one, and that could be like a silver medal, which means that you came second. Excellent. Or maybe you came second in your running. I can come second in my running today. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I have got my number one, and I am going to put a hole in the top here my hole punch up and I'm going to find some ribbon hmm, this one has gold on it so I'm going to use this one and so while you do that I'm going to do a big number two great and because we know in the Olympics number two is a silver medal I actually have oh, I have a lid not a lot but I have a little bit of some silver in here. Perfect. So I might get a little bit of glue and go stick, stick, stick around so that mine looks like a silver medal. Well, I have tied mine up at the top and now mine's ready to decorate as well. So I'm going to use your glue. Go sprinkle. Silver can be a little bit tricky to see though. Let me just see. There we go. Can you see it's glistening light a little bit? And then, just like you said, I'm gonna put a hole. Because if I don't have a hole, I can't put any of the ribbon on it. Well, we actually have a stapler as well, or oh. sticky tape. You could try those things, because you might not have a hole puncher at home. What a great idea. Well, I might use the stapler then, and this is just lots of scrap ribbon at home. Maybe it's come off a present. Mm. Or, oh, this one looks perfect because look, it's even got a little bit of silver in it. Do you know that one did come off a present, Stacey? It was a big hamper of food that came to my house. And I was like, hmm, I can use that ribbon. And look, here you are using it and it works perfectly for your silver medal. Perfect. So I'm just lining it all up and then I've got to be very careful with my stapler. Push! And I have to make sure the points go through my ribbon and have a look at that. A number two. And oh, then perfect. I can still open it up. Oh, and look at that. My number two medal for my fast running. <gasps> so now, we've, we've oh. got a silver. Yep. And that means number two. Mm -hmm. Second. Second, that's right. And we've got a one and it's gold for first place. So what's the last medal that we're missing? Well, there's first, second, and now we're doing third. Third. Oh, I knew we cut out three for a reason. And so when we go to the Olympics, what color is third, Stacey? <sighs> I know the first is gold. Mm -hmm. Second was silver. <gasps> So I think third is bronze. You got it. You're and amazing. I'm pretty clever at some things. And bronze, isn't that a little bit of like a brownie sort of colour? It is. In fact, I think I might have, oh, here we go. You can tell your friends. Oh, you do have a picture, see? I do. We do. These are some examples of some medals from the Tokyo, for the Tokyo Games and you can see Gold is first place, silver is second, and if we look at the bronze over here, it's sort of like a brownie, sort of copper colour, isn't it? Yes. And look, they are all 
standing on their podiums, proud to receive their medals. Wow. Oh. So good. Oh, you've got yours all tied up. Yes. I wonder who we could give our first to. Do we have a friend that is really good at something? Mm, I think we definitely would have a friend that's very good at something. Me too. <laughs> well, I wonder how many you could make. And even have you seen, did Stacey show you the podium? Mm. So this is the number one and he's higher up. So you could even make a podium at your house. Maybe you could do a obstacle course. <gasps> Oh, what a great idea. Or maybe like Toby in the book, you could make your own sports day, maybe with your family or if you have any siblings. Yeah. And maybe, oh, what were some of the things? There was an egg and spoon race you could do. Or maybe the potato sack jumping race. Or maybe just some running races as well. That sounds like fun. Oh, maybe we should plan a sports day yes. and we could hand out our medals. That's a great idea, Stacey. Thank you so much for joining us today. We loved having you and we can't wait to see you next time. See you later. Bye.